Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a good weekend. We're going to get started on our morning circle. Are you crisscross? Are you crisscross? Eyes on me. Eyes on me. Hands are in your lap. Hands are in your lap. Quietly. Quietly. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Hey, right, let's sing good morning to our Monday friends. Avery's here today. Avery's here today. I'm so happy that Avery's here today. Leo's here today. Leo's here today. I'm so happy that Leo's here today. Alex is here today. Alex is here today. I'm so happy that Alex is here today. Hazel's here today. Hazel's here today. I'm so happy that Hazel's here today. Brynn is here today. Brynn is here today. I'm so happy that Brynn is here today. Riley's here today. Riley's here today. I'm so happy that Riley's here today. And good morning to all my other friends who are watching Circle today, who don't normally come to school on Monday. Are right, you guys ready to sing the months? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Then we start again. January, February, March, April. And let's count to see what day of the week, it, what day it is, what number. One, two, three, four, five, six. Today is April 6th. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today's the first day that we come to school during the week. So today is Monday. And if today's Monday, then tomorrow will be t -t Tuesday. And yesterday was our home day, a, a non-school day, which was Sunday. Good job, we're gonna sing our day of the week song, ready? Today is Monday, today is Monday. All day long, all day long. Yesterday was Sunday, tomorrow will be Tuesday. Oh, what fun, oh, what fun. Nice job, friends. And today, Where's the here? a little bit later, okay? Today is a new week, so we're starting a new letter. Last week, we did the letter O. This week, we're going to do the letter P. P stands for polka pig. So we're going to read polka pig today. Listen for all the P sounds. P. So you put your lips together and you say, you kind of puff out. P. Pig. Yeah. Pig. Once upon a time, there was a pretty pig named Polka. She was pink and purple and polka dotted. She wore a peace sign, a petunia, and a picture of a pumpkin. And she carried a pine cone and a pom pom wherever she went. Polka loved to go flying and then jump from a plane with her parachute. You hear all those P words? Polka went up in a plane with her parachute. Pete and P the pilot flew the plane. They both ate pickles while they looked for a pretty place to jump with the parachute. When they found a pleasant place, Polka pulled on her parachute. Pete gave Polka a push and she jumped. After she was out of the way of the plane, she popped open her parachute by pulling a string. 
Polka's parachute made this sound when it opened. Can you do that, Bryn? Good job. You wanna hold it? Okay, stand right here. Hold it this way so they can see it. There you go, perfect. But Polka landed right in a pile of paste. Oh my goodness. She landed in a pile of paste. She was all sticky and not a bit pleased. When Pete picked her up, she told him to be more careful about where he pushed her next time. The second time, Polka flew in the plane with Pete. They ate more pickles while picking out a place to land. When they found a place, Pete gave her a push and out she went. Polka pulled her parachute string. You gotta hold it up. Okay, I'll hold it. And landed right in prickly pine needles. Those are like, uh, pine needles are the kind of um, things that grow on Christmas trees. Polka was all prickly and sticky and not a bit pleased. The third time she flew in Pete's plane, she watched him closely as he pushed her out. She pulled the parachute string and slowly drifted down to a pool of purple paint. Polka was all painted prickly and sticky and not a bit pleased. When she saw Pete, she told him he was no longer her pilot. Polka went home, cleaned up, and went to bed. She just wanted to forget the plane, the parachute, and Pete. She wanted to forget the paste, the prickly pine needles, and the purple paint. Polka slept and had a lovely dream about a princess named Penny. Penny gave Polka a magic puffball in the dream. She told Polka always to take it parachuting with her. If she did, she would land only in pleasant places. When Polka woke up, can you guess what was in her hand? A puffball. Polka ran out and found Pete the pilot. Polka told him he could be her pilot after all. So up they went and down came Polka on a pile of pillows. In playgrounds, in pansy patches, on pretty paths and in many other pleasant places, thanks to Princess Penny and the puffball. So now she's only landing in really fun places. Pillows, playground, pansy patch, which is flowers, and a pretty path. So that is our pea story. So today, you guys can read that with mom and dad again. Um, you can use your story. Maybe you can color in a couple of your pictures today and a couple on the other days during the week. And you guys can um, make your polka the pig puppet. So you can color your polka pig in. Um, and if you have any popsicle sticks left at home, you can glue her onto a popsicle stick so that you guys have a puppet and you can use her when you read your story, okay? Um, I'm gonna post a music and movement video in a little bit and I'm gonna try to get out, I'm gonna post our story for the day. We're gonna read, if you give a mouse a cookie. So I will post this story up in a little bit. And we're also going to, later on today, me and Brynn are gonna make some homemade Play-Doh. So I'll share that recipe with you. Um, and if you guys have the ingredients at home, you guys can make some Play-Doh too. Okay, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.